In today's video, I will be providing wiring diagrams for a single pole light switch. I'll use a whiteboard and draw the wiring diagrams to see how theoretically they work. There are two methods of wiring a single pole light switch. The first method is when the power goes to the switch and then to the light, and the second method is when the power goes to light first and then to the switch. This is the wiring diagram for the first method. This is the most common method of wiring a single pole light switch. To start with, power comes from the power source using a 14-2 wire. That power source may be another light switch or an outlet box. The 14-2 wire actually has three wires, bare copper, ground, a black wire and a white wire. Unfortunately, I cannot write white on white, so I'm using blue color for the white. This 14-2 wire goes into the switch box first. The ground wire is connected to the ground terminal of the switch and it looks like this. It's a green terminal. This is a normal toggle switch, traditional switch and this is Leviton Decora type switch. In both of these switches, the green terminal, the green screw here is the ground screw. On the other side, we have two brass terminals. Normally, incoming black wire is connected to the bottom terminal and the outgoing wire going to the light is connected to the top terminal. In the switch box, the incoming black wire or hot wire is connected to the lower terminal of the switch. This one here. From the switch box, another 14-2 wire goes to the light box. The ground wire from that 14-2 wire is connected to the ground wire coming from the power source. The white wire coming from the light box is also connected directly to the white wire coming from the power source. The black wire from the light box is connected to the upper terminal of switch, this one. When the switch is turned on, the incoming black hot wire is connected to the outgoing black hot wire going to the light box. These two wires get connected and the circuit gets completed like this. This wiring method will be same whether you are using a single light bulb like the one I'm showing there or a series of hot lights which are wired in parallel or a ceiling fan. A single light bulb is normally not grounded but if you have a light fixture like a chandelier or bathroom vanity light that may have a ground connection. If the light bulb or light fixture that you are using is not having a ground connection then the ground wire is directly connected to the outlet box. So this is the first of the two methods to connect a single pole light switch. This is the second method of wiring a single pole light switch. In this method, power first comes into the light box using a 14-2 wire, travels to the switch box using a 14-3 wire, and then comes back to the light box. This is also called a switch loop. The incoming power uses a 14-2 wire. The white wire is directly connected to one of the terminals in the light box. The ground is also connected to the ground terminal of the light if there is any. If there is no ground terminal in the light, then the ground is connected only to the light box. Now the black wire from the 14-2 wire, incoming black hot wire, is connected to the red wire of the 14-2 cable, which is further connected to the bottom terminal of the switch. Now the black wire from the 14-3 cable is connected to the upper terminal of the switch and on the other side the same black wire is connected to the other terminal of the light. The white wire from the incoming 14-2 wire is connected to one of the terminals of the light as well as it is connected to the white wire of the 14-3 cable. This white wire is left as is in the switch box. It is not connected to the switch in any way. It is left there for future use because some of these smart switches need a neutral wire connection. So in case somebody wants to replace this switch with a smart switch, the white wire will be used. Let's see how the current flows. The black hot wire carries the current up to the light box. From the light box, the red wire from the 14-3 cable takes the current to this terminal. The switch is turned on. These two are connected. The black wire from the 14-3 wire now takes the current back to the light. It may be a bulb, light fixture, or it may be a fan. So this is the second method of wiring a single pole light switch. 